David and Victoria Beckham are ready for the world to learn intimate details of their life together in a revealing new Netflix series, with stars like Anna Winter, James Corden and Gary Neville all joining the couple at the UK premiere of Beckham this evening. The four-part series about the former Manchester United player's life on and off the pitch, lands on the streaming site tomorrow, with major revelations about that of Four's career and his relationship with Posh Spice already teased ahead of its official release. The documentary's director confirmed over the weekend that David and Victoria were grilled on camera regarding past infidelity rumors, admitting it wasn't pleasant to ask David to discuss rumors about allegations he was once unfaithful. Beckham also sees Victoria seemingly admit she nearly split from David at the height of their troubles. 22.08 Zoe Delaney Victoria admits we were against each other as she address marriage troubles David and Victoria have admitted their marriage came close to breaking down with Posh saying tearfully, we were against each other. The couple, known as Posh and Bex, spoke in depth for the first time about their previous relationship problems and at the peak of the crisis, Beckham said it felt like they were drowning and he confessed. I don't know how we got through it. Their new Netflix series shows newspapers on screen covering the 2004 allegations made by his former assistant Rebecca Luz. The PA for the footballer claimed she had an affair with Beckham whilst he was playing for Real Madrid. Other women made other allegations too, all of which Beckham described as ludicrous at the time. In the documentary, director Fisher Stevens asks 48-year-old Beckham, multiple tabloid stories broke, and how did you deal with that? Read the full story here. 21 colon 40 Zoe Delaney David shares thoughts on Taylor Swift relationship rumors David said Taylor Swift deserves to be happy as he discussed the relationship rumors between the US pop singer and American football player Travis Kelsey at his premiere earlier this evening. The anti-hero singer-songwriter has made headlines recently after she was spotted in the stands at NFL games to support the Kansas City Chiefs sparking rumors of a new romance with the team's tight end Kelsey. Former England captain Beckham, 48, has experienced similar attention throughout his relationship with Spice Girls singer Victoria Beckham, 49, who he married in 1999 and shares four children with. Speaking on the red carpet for the London premiere of his new documentary series, Beckham said, I know there's a lot of noise around around Taylor at the moment. Taylor is an amazing talent and she's an amazing person and she deserves to be happy. And whatever she does, and whoever she's with, as long as she's happy that's the most important thing. It's the same with me and Victoria. We've been together now for 26 years, almost three decades. He continued, we've got amazing kids, we've built businesses, but we make time for each other. We respect each other and we love our kids. You have to work hard at these things and yes, we've been together for a long time. 21 colon 38 Zoe Delaney Posh steals the show the reviews are in and it looks like David is upstaged by his beloved wife in his own Netflix series. The Mirror's showbiz editor Mark Jeffries has watched all four episodes of the revealing look at David and Victoria's life and argues it's Posh that steals the show. The Netflix series is called Beckham but arguably it is his wife Victoria who is the star of the show at times and the more talkative about their ups and downs, Mark writes in his review. Beckham charts the career of David Robert Joseph Beckham from when he was a small boy signing for Manchester United right through to him now running in Inter Miami. The first three parts of the documentary series are mainly taken up with winning things at United which fans of the club will love, meeting Victoria and his souring relationship with Sir Alex Ferguson.
But the most interesting and revealing moments are in the final fourth part where Posh and Bex admit their relationship was on the rocks when Beckham signed for Real Madrid and they spent time apart. Read Mark's full review here. 20 12 Zoe Delaney Beckham boys pay tribute to their dad's famous hairstyles David's three boys all appeared to be paying tribute to their famous dad this evening. Brooklyn, Romeo and Cruz all rocked hairstyles their footballer father has enjoyed himself over the years, with Cruz getting to be the one to pay homage to Beck's famous floppy 90s hairstyle. Meanwhile, Romeo, who is following in David's footsteps as he pursues a football career, opted for a tidy skin fade reminiscent of his father's memorable look in the early 2000s. Social media chef Brooklyn kept things current as he seemingly mirrored his dad's current do with a skinhead. 19.23 Zoe Delaney David was addicted to Victoria, former teammate says Gary Neville, whose production company is involved in the Beckham series, speaks on camera about David and Victoria's romance. Recalling the two stars meeting back in the 90s, Gary reveals in the Netflix documentary, he was on the phone to Victoria every second. He would stay on the phone until 1 in the morning. It was like an addict. He'd drive four hours to spend 20 minutes with her. Paul Scholes, who played alongside David and Gary for Manchester United, add, We knew David was peeing the manager, Alex Ferguson, off. I think he was probably going down to London at times when he possibly shouldn't have been. And the manager wouldn't have liked that. 19.07 Zoe Delaney All the stars come out for the Beckham family The Beckham family have managed to get some big stars to their premiere this evening, with Vogue editor Anna Winter even gracing the red carpet in London. Speaking in the four-part series, Anna admits she wasn't sure about putting the Spice Girls on the cover of American Vogue in the 90s, but took the risk due to her daughter's love of the iconic pop group. Also posing for pictures ahead of tonight's screening are James Corden, football manager Steve Bruce and David's longtime best friend and former Manchester United teammate Gary Neville. 18.43 Zoe Delaney Brooklyn and Nicola reunite with David and Victoria Brooklyn Beckham and his wife Nicola Peltz posed alongside the aspiring chef's parents as they reunited with David and Victoria and Brooklyn's siblings this evening. Billionaire heiress Nicola is wearing a stylish red leather ensemble for the premiere, with Brooklyn keeping it simple in a suit as they pose for pictures alongside Harper Beckham. Cruz Beckham and Romeo Beckham and his girlfriend Mia Regan. Brooklyn is mentioned quite a bit in the first two episodes of Beckham, with Victoria revealing she told David she was pregnant with their first child just hours before a huge football match. Before David and the England team played against Argentina at the 1998 World Cup, Posh Spice told him she was pregnant with their eldest son, Brooklyn. During the unforgettable football game, David received a red card which led to England losing on penalties. Read how Victoria broke the news to David here. 18 19 Zoe Delaney David and Victoria are here. David and Victoria have arrived and look like their usual fashionable selves, ready to watch their new Netflix series in style. Fashion designer Victoria has opted for a chic white suit for the Beckham premiere, with the mom of four looking fabulous in an oversized white blazer and matching trousers. Posh completes her look with a simple black clutch and wears her hair in a side ponytails. The equally stylish David has gone for a classic dapper suit for the star-studded event. 18 15 Zoe Delaney stars begin to arrive for the UK premiere of Beckham Famous Faces have begun to arrive at the Corazon Mayfair ahead of Beckham getting its first airing before becoming available to stream on Netflix from tomorrow.
No sign of David and Victoria or their four children just yet but celebrities like former footballer turned TV pundit Alex Scott and singer Jess Glynn have arrived and posed on the red carpet before heading inside for the special screening. 18.05 Zoe Delaney David was so scared of kidnap threats he slept outside Brooklyn's door back and will also see David reveal he slept on the floor by the hospital door on the night his son Brooklyn was born, after death threats gave him fears over his family's safety. At the time the former England captain was hated by a section of the public for his World Cup red card against Argentina in 1998 and he was regularly abused in the street, with one crazed fan even sending a bullet in the post to Manchester United's Old Trafford Stadium. Reflecting on that time and the birth of first child Brooklyn in March 1999 at London's Portland Hospital, Beckham said, the moment he came out, I all of sudden thought how am I going to protect him? That night Brooklyn slept next to Victoria. Victoria was like come on squeeze on the bed with me and I was like absolutely not, am sleeping with my head against the door. Because I was paranoid that someone was gonna steal him. Read more here. 17 23 Zoe Delaney David and Victoria to break silence on infidelity rumors in new Netflix series David and Victoria Beckham look like they're set to finally break their silence on past infidelity rumors in their revealing new Netflix series. The director of Beckham confirmed over the weekend that he quizzed both David and Victoria about the difficulties they went through when filming the documentary, admitting it wasn't pleasant to ask David to discuss rumors about allegations he was once unfaithful. The Manchester United legend, 48, and Victoria, 49, have been loved up since meeting in 1997 tying the knot in 1999 and welcoming four children into the world together. While the happy couple may have one of the strongest marriages in showbiz these days, claims David had indulged in extra martial affairs plagued the pair during the early 00s. Other than denying press reports and claims at the time, both David and Victoria have kept quiet about the past scandals, until now. The iconic couple both discuss their relationship in the new Netflix series, with director Fisher Stevens seemingly confirming no subject was off-limits when it came to probing questions. Speaking with The Times, the Beckham director, recommended to David by Leonardo DiCaprio, no less, admits he does ask the dad of four about historic rumored infidelity scandals. It wasn't pleasant, but we got into it. For me, I approached it as how did your marriage stay together? And you will see how he responds. I talked with both of them about the difficulties they went through, Fisher reveals. Backing Fisher up, Beckham producer John Batsack seemingly confirms Victoria is also quizzed about possible marriage troubles, adding, they were both signed up to telling us whatever we wanted to know. I'm sure you'll say, of course you would say that. But they were. There was no you will not ask that or do that. Fisher and I thought that might be the case, but we were clear from the start that we would only do this if we could go in any direction we wanted. And we did. Read more here. 17 Poland 20 Zoe Delaney Victoria Awkward encounter with a fan as crude football fans taunted her elsewhere in the opening episodes, Victoria recalls the mortifying time thousands of football fans sang a sexually explicit chant about her as she watched her partner on the pitch. Speaking in a new Netflix documentary, Posh Spice, 49 reveals the awkward reaction to the X-rated chants from a woman sitting next to her inside the football stadium, laughing at the incident at one point, but admits the cruel taunts from football fans felt hurtful and embarrassing at the time. Victoria's name often popped up in football chants throughout the late 90s thanks to her romance with now-husband David Beckham. 
David was playing for Manchester United and rival football fans would often take aim at Victoria in the terraces with explicit chants about the mum of four when visiting Old Trafford. Following David's infamous sending off during a last 16 game against Argentina in the 1998 World Cup, which England eventually lost on penalties, the dad of four found himself public enemy number one and even receiving death threats. The huge backlash towards the future England captain not only left David depressed but saw the chants about Victoria intensify. Every football fan sang this song, David recalls when speaking in the upcoming Netflix series Beckham. During one of her interviews to camera, Victoria recalls watching a Manchester United game after the infamous sending off, pregnant with son Brooklyn Beckham at the time, and hearing the foul-mouthed chant. I remember sitting down and the lady next to me turned to me and didn't know what to say, and said, do you want a polo? Victoria remembers during one of her interviews, after admitting she was hurt by the song. Do I want a polo? We did not know what to do. It felt like we were drowning. Read more here. 17 Poland 18 Zoe Delaney Victoria claims she grew up working class hilariously torn apart by David Victoria's attempt to claim she grew up working class didn't go down too well with husband David when filming their new Netflix series. The iconic couple, who celebrated their 24th wedding anniversary this year, met at a football match in 1997 and wed two years later. Details of their love story features heavily in Beckham, with the loved-up pair looking back fondly on the early days of their romance. Speaking to the camera during the first of four episodes of the series, Victoria sits on a couch as she looks back on her relationship and reveals what first attracted her to her now husband. I just fancied him, it was as simple as that. I think because we both come from families that work really hard, our parents worked really hard and we're very working class," Victoria claims to the off-camera interviewer. However, it seems David was lurking in the background during Victoria's solo interview and keeping an ear on what she was saying. Following Pasha's working class claim, the former England captain pops his head through a door and yells at his wife, be honest. Victoria hits back, claiming, I am being honest. Be honest, what car did your dad drive you to school in? David, his head still poking through the door, continues to probe. As Victoria tries to deflect and move on, David doesn't give up, asking once again, be honest, what car was it? Still not wanting to answer her husband's question, Victoria claims, it's not a simple answer. Eventually, the mum of four gives in and admits, in the 80s my dad had a Rolls Royce. Satisfied, David says thank you and leaves Victoria to continue with her interview. Read more here.